a lot of guys were, were telling us the same thing. They wanted a machine that was safely mounted to the tanker. They wanted a machine that was easy to operate and they wanted a machine that was good value for money. Well, I'm David Maven, I'm a Sales Director of Fleming Agri Products uh, from New Buildings. Today we're just about um, a mile as the crow flies from the factory on a local farm here belonging to Kilns. And we've got our uh, 2300 gallon vacuum tanker fitted with uh, our new 9.2 metre trailing shoe. We started manufacturing tankers uh, around about 2011 and basically the, the tankers have evolved into the range that we have today which uh, covers from about 1,100 gallons up to about 2,500 gallons. Legislation has changed over um, the last few years, leading to slurry having to be applied near or on the ground. So we looked at various different options of doing this. We were using outside manufacturers to supply these systems. But about two years ago, we made the decision that we were going to develop uh, and design a machine of our own. And we have two models now, a seven point uh, 5 and a 9.2 which we see here today. Whenever we set out to design the machine we realised that it was legislation driven. We also realised that there was countless benefits of using a trailing shoe system and that's uh, what we're trying to promote today. The reason for us going straight to the trailing shoe route was because that's where we believe we get maximum benefit um, from the slurry. The benefit of contact in the ground is you, you have no uh, gases loss of nitrogen you have the slurry down and among the root of the plant where it's most needed. You have less leaf contamination and you have more timeliness between grazings using a trailing shoe system. So that's why we chose to go that route. We have been using trailing shoes and dribble bars from various manufacturers to mount our own tankers. So we have gained quite a bit of experience uh, in the use of these over the last five to six years. I myself have been involved with trailing shoes since 2009. So we have a good feel for what um, we want it. We also talked to our customers and asked them what features they were looking for in a trailing shoe. And basically, um, a lot of guys were, were telling us the same thing. They wanted a machine that was safely mounted to the tanker. They wanted a machine that was easy to operate. And they wanted a machine that was good value for money. And within that, we've built in a whole lot of other features that we feel are unique to our own trail and shoe. So we, we had people who were concerned about lining and slurry and the grassland, and that became a, the space between the legs of the, the actual trail and shoe. So we reduced that spacing down to 250 mil, and that should give enough overlap that the nutrient rate is spread throughout the whole width of the 9.2 meter bar. The, the writing of the actual pipes that, that feed the trail and shoes was a very important bit of design work for us and that was to prevent damage when the machine was folded up and also prevent any restriction to the flow of a product down to the legs. So if you look at the flow of the pipes, we have it in a very natural curvature. There's no um, right angle bends, sharp bends, no wear in pipes, no rubbing of pipes and, and it leads to a, a compact uh, machine when the machine's folded up. All our vacuum tankers, recessed vacuum tankers are now bracketed ready for our own trail and shoe machine with two flange brackets on the back. Any tanker we make from 2,000 gallon over has a crank commercial heavy duty axle to allow for the extra weight of the trail and shoe. We're using a true flow macerator. Proven macerator has been on the market for quite a long time now. We have good results from it, got good reports about it, and it's a well-priced, easy maintained machine. Uh, the machine also has a substantial stone trap which is mounted below the macerator the flow of, of liquid is coming from the bottom part of the tanker out through the back door into the stone trap and that eliminates any stone damage within the macerator as it's not possible to flow uphill. People asked us about ease of operation. Obviously a lot of people are moving from a spread plate to a trailing shoe system which is quite a big step up. So we simplified the hydraulic flow and the operation of the machine as much as possible that that machine can be operated with two spool valves. Effectively, when you have the macerator in drive, your gate valve's open, the slurry's flowing to the legs. When you close your gate valve, the drive goes off to the macerator. So there's, there's no, never any danger of having a macerator been run dry. 
Very simple system. Gate valve open, master it or on. Gate valve shut, master it or off. Another concern people had, the way the machine was connected to the tank and also the balance. By having the machine close coupled to the back of the tank, we eliminate those balance problems. It's also secure. Also, the height that we can lift that machine to on the cantilever for headland management and transport is way above the norm. That was another issue people had with some trailing shoes we were on, dribble bars were fitting to machines that they thought there wasn't enough clearance, uh, both in transport uh, position and working position. You come at the end of the row, you lift the machine up to turn your headland. A lot of other machines, you're only rotating slightly and that leg's still only about that much off the ground. You know, where our leg comes right up nearly at waist height. So you have no danger of fouling that machine when you're turning on a hedge or on a rough bit of ground. Also, another issue we had reported to us was when the machine was folded up, the actual height um, restricted access into um, outside sheds where there was a tank within the shed. Because the mass of the machine was higher than the height of the tank, it was a bit restrictive. So with a cantilever, that's pretty unique and as gain that even when the machine is in, in transport position, we can drop that linkage down to lower the overall height of the machine to the same or, or a little lower even than the tanker. So there's no restriction um, going in and out of, of housing. This machine can be fitted to pretty much any tanker that has a correct bracket and turret system on the back. Obviously, we have a lot of tankers out there already bracketed that we've made over the last two to three years. The machine can pretty much be, be fitted straight away to them.